Hello everyone, welcome to another video and this time I want to show you something which often starts as uh, ok Nanad, I did download some of uh, your scripts and uh, some script does not work at all uh, on, my, on my side and often I start conversation with this video which I did create some time ago for new users, I think uh, this is a great video. It is a 20 minute video, but if you're just starting with uh, Dynamo, I think this video will provide very good information for you. Uh, there can be like 10 different uh, things why the script does not work on your side, but it does work on my side. Uh, and those reasons are usually the case. But today I don't want to talk about that. This is like a sequel to that story. In more and more cases, the people contact me with the issue that scripts that uh, refer to the uh, element geometry does not work on their side. And the problem with this element location, even maybe after watching this video, will not be logic to you. Um, and what is what is the problem? So over here I have some file. I did call it mechanical and I have some pipes over here. I did intentionally show uh, all three points. So in this case uh, internal origin survey point and project base point uh, are at the same place 0 0 0. And now when we add some kind of the architectural Revit link and if I use internal origin to internal origin as a method of uh, positioning, uh, basically you know what will happen. Um, origin from that Revit link will be uh, aligned to our origin. We cannot move origin, which is a great thing. But as we can see, project base point and survey point from the Revit link are not on the same place uh, in our model. And for Dynamo, we don't need to uh, position project base point and survey point uh, in the way as architectural link is. Uh, the only thing which matters to Dynamo is internal origin. So if uh, you have some model where uh, as a method of positioning you did use internal origin to internal origin, then you shouldn't have any problems with Dynamo script. So if I move those pipes over here and maybe our script needs to create wall openings or uh, maybe you want to use that script uh, which will cut wall floor ceiling portion if it is on the same place with the structure then in that case it is very important uh, to have elements on the same location and now this is just a part from that wall versus structure script so now uh, if we did position origins on the same place in our model and uh, in the link model now when we select our model and the uh, element from the Revit link they will be on the same place in the dynamo so if I select some pipe for example this pipe and if I run the script we want to say from this Revit link we want to select ah oh, I didn't from this Revit link we want to select this wall and now if we take a look to Dynamo, we have both of those elements uh, on the same place also in Dynamo. But what will happen if you didn't position uh, that Revit link uh, according to the internal origin? So now if we add Revit link, but this time we will use project base point to project base point. And if you remember, I didn't position project base point in my model. so uh, that will match, but my project base point and the project base point from the architectural model are not on the same place. Take a moment just to see what we have over here. So this is the internal origin from architectural link. This is our internal origin. Project base point from uh, architectural link is aligned and it is on the same place uh, with our project base point, but also serve uh, base point uh, is not is not defined in our model. Uh, we have uh, this architectural model over here. Over here we still have our pipes. But let's see now what will happen in Dynamo. Okay, I will again select the pipe. We will also select this link, this wall. 
and now if we take a look over here we can only see the wall and the pipe is also somewhere over here but those elements in dynamo are not on the same place why because dynamo will took uh, the element position according to the origin and uh, looking from our origin uh, so our pipe is at some distance from our origin so we have minus x and minus y uh, values for our element but plus uh, y component uh, measuring from the internal origin from this link so um, looking from their origins those elements because the origins are not on the same place they will also not be on the same place inside the dynamo but it is very important that you know this because every time when you need to have elements on the same place inside the dynamo and dynamo then need to either create an opening find a collision or need to provide you some kind of information you need to make sure that uh, origins are on the same place otherwise you will need to find some way to fix this so now how we will fix this basically we will took coordinate system from this link over here and then we will say okay we know where is the base point for this link over here we know where is our base point and we will basically uh, inside the dynamo transform or translate uh, this wall so inside the dynamo this wall will uh, be on the place where we want to have that wall we will not move anything inside the Revit but inside the dynamo we will have again this um, this situation where the wall and the pipes are on the same place this is actually the fix for this situation and all those nodes are native dynamo nodes so this part over here belong to our model so coordinates base point this is actually 0 0 0 this is our internal origin and we want to switch from origin to coordinate system why because over here we need to to transform our geometry uh, what is the geometry well as we did say we want to uh, translate basically the position of this wall and then we have first and second coordinate system so we already explain where is our coordinate system what is the coordinate system from the Revit link actually we have that information over here uh, with this node there is some other ways uh, in which you can retrieve this information but over here you can see where is the base point uh, from that Revit link and basically then you will align those two coordinate system and now if we preview this geometry so this wall over here did go over here and now inside the dynamo we have that wall on the place where we want to have but again I think uh, it is a better situation to use wherever you can uh, while positioning the Revit links internal origin to internal origin um, also in uh, other cases when you want to use project base point just make sure that you have project base point inside all of your models on the same place then I did have a situation where I have our model but as a link we have IFC link and I also want to show you that situation I cannot show you uh, actually uh, this customer model uh, but the thing which I can show you again uh, this is the host model from the customer side in which he has in which he has architectural uh, elements and uh, entire structure model is uh, in the IFC this is the internal origin from the IFC uh, this is our internal origin and as you can see project base point is on the same place so now what you should do if you want to change this wall versus link structure script in order for that script to work again it is the same thing you need to select single element so the problem with that model which the client sent me is that all architectural elements inside the model group uh, my suggestion was because you need to select single elements in order to cut that uh, volume is to ungroup those elements in order to select that single element so you need to select that single architectural element and you need to select uh, also the element from the uh, IFC it is the same story and then because those elements are not positioned correctly 
uh, those elements will not be on the same place inside the dynamo because their internal origin is not on the same place. And in order to have those elements at the same place, in order to intercept that volume and to create a void and to cut that element, you need to do exactly the same thing. So you need to find our internal origin to create a coordinate system. Over here, even for the IFC, you will get to know what is the base point for that IFC. You will basically transform that structural geometry on the correct place. Then Dynamo will find the intercept and do whatever it needs to do to cut that element. Thank you for watching. Bye.